Greetings Interloper, and welcome to the Galactic Hub Project. Founded in 2016, the Interlopers of the Galactic Hub have always been pioneers when it comes to multiplayer in the No Man's Sky simulation. We are a group of hundreds of players based out of 11 regions in the Euclid Galaxy, with extensions in the Calypso and Isantum Galaxies as well. The Hub focuses on tangible gameplay content like base building and fauna hunting, and metagame content like our economy and multiplayer events. We're even part of the game itself. The Galactic Hub has been canonized by Hello Games, the developers of No Man's Sky. Most notably, our emblem can be purchased in the Quicksilver store in the Anomaly and applied to bases, Exocraft, or companions. And the Pilgrim player title can only be unlocked by visiting a specific planet in hub space via portal. Those are just a few examples. You can spot the hub elsewhere in the game as well, or even on Sean Murray's desk. Every day, the interlopers of the Galactic Hub are working to create a true civilization. Civilization, or Civ, is the most commonly used term for organized multiplayer groups in No Man's Sky. No civilization can exist without first building communities, and in the Galactic Hub, this is done by establishing colonies. In hub terms, a colony is a localized group of multiple players collaborating in some way, including construction projects, player-driven missions, economic features, and competitive PvP or racing events. More recent colonies are all organized by a governor, a single interloper who volunteers to run their own slice of the Galactic Hub. For this reason, from one colony to another, you'll often find variances in their construction style, leadership style, community content, and community practices. Some colonies even depart significantly from normal hub laws, such as the Wild West colony of New Bandera, where PvP is always permitted. To start your own colony, create a wiki page for it, then reach out to 710 1334. To join a colony, check out the Galactic Hub Colony Catalog linked in this video's description. If you're joining a governed colony, please always contact the colony's governor before you start building. Anyone can start a colony and act as a governor, or you can join any existing colony as long as there's space for you. There's no limit on the number of colonies you can join. Civilizations function best when their citizens have a way to give back and do something good for the community. In our civilization, this is most often accomplished through chapters, official organizations operating under the banner of the Galactic Hub. The Galactic Hub Exobiology Corps documents all forms of life, particularly fauna. Their researchers have discovered and written wiki pages for thousands of fauna in our space, including multiple ultra-rare greater mushroom beetles. The Galactic Hub Defense Force is our peacekeeping force. In the rare case that a griefer is reported in hub space, the GHDF respond in-game with an average response time of 3 minutes ready to observe and neutralize the threat if needed. Star League organizes and hosts our multitude of competitive events. Every weekend, you'll find at least one race, combat tournament, starship dogfight, or other sporting event taking place under the Star League banner. The Galactic Hub Treasury Department manages and develops our economy. If you want to set up a business in hub space, they'll be the ones to help you out. The Hublic Broadcasting Service produces hub-themed media for our YouTube channel and other promotional purposes. The Galactic Hub ship hunters hunt ships and multi-tools, and can even deliver the ships to you. The Galactic Hub geological surveyors document planets and minerals. As a new citizen in hub space, you may depend on their work to find an ideal planet to build your base on. To volunteer for a chapter, check the link in this video's description. With the exception of the Defense Force, chapters will usually accept just about anyone who volunteers to help. Our economy also resembles real-world economies, although it's more friendly and less competitive. The backbone to the Galactic Hub economy is Hubcoin, our native currency. Real-world money is never required or involved when it comes to Hubcoin. It's never sold for real-world money, and anyone caught doing so will be banned and have their account frozen. Hubcoin is needed because there are no in-game resources which are scarce, transferable, and non-exploitable. These are essential components for a currency, and essential components for a player-driven economy. Hubcoin is earned by participating in the Galactic Hub in various ways. You'll get a little bit every month just for posting on our Discord servers and on our subreddit. On top of that, you can earn more by starting your own business, working for other players, completing achievements set by Hub staff, or through any other means you can think of. Hubcoin can be spent on a variety of goods, like real-world Hub merch, in-game supplies, custom save-edited ships, and custom save-edited fauna companions. Or you can use your coin to fund your own ideas in hub space, such as paying employees for a business, paying rewards for a colony mission, commissioning art like a bite beat track or statue, or whatever else you can imagine. 
There's too much to Hubcoin to cover it all here in this video, so join our Discord for more information, or look out for a future video specifically covering Hubcoin. Another key component of civilizations is a leadership or government structure. The Galactic Hub is directed foremost by its founder, myself, 710-1334, who has the final say on policy and law. Mr. Jordan Murphy, head of the Security Office and the Galactic Hub Defense Force, acts as second-in-command. Post-Euclid directors, these are the leaders of the Galactic Hubs in Calypso and Isantum, are next in the hierarchy. Post-Euclid directors are mostly autonomous, making the majority of the decisions for their civilization on their own. Next in the chain of command are the various chapter directors, who decide on the activities of chapters like the GH Star League or the GH Builders Guild. All members of the Galactic Hub government are advised by members of the Galactic Hub Council. These counselors have no inherent authority. Their main function is to communicate what they believe is best for the Hub to interlopers in positions of authority with hopes to influence their decisions. The Galactic Hub's culture is another important component of what defines us. Some of this is intangible, like our values of helpfulness and cooperation. Other aspects are more tangible, like the Museum of Simulated Art, where canvases display the work of various interloper artists. Or our native gambling game Idsk, with its sense of camaraderie and risk. Sports like blaster ball and traveler hockey originate from our civilization, often drawing crowds of spectators. Zally's Hoo Hoo 042.2 FM radio station broadcasts from within hub space. The Galactic Hub has years of history behind its name. Interlopers can engage with our living culture or visit historically significant sites to remember how the Hub came to be what it is today. Hub historians can also read through the Galactic Hub timeline for more of a history book experience. Hopefully this video has given you a better idea of what we're doing here in the Galactic Hub, but the best way to understand is to get involved yourself. Check out the links in the video description for ways to join our community. Good journeys, interlopers.